Make an intelligence roll. Oh, I made that four. Does that mean he doesn't use a dirty? Figures out enough not to pack it full of mud and other filth. Maybe I should spit in it to keep it clean. I don't apply the leeches to you. You're in it, sterile. I'll just piss all over it. <laughs> I can't really leave Jax here, and it's going to be a, like a full 24 hours before he gets healed because it's morning right now. Just turn morning. Yeah. I can't move. Unless we stall long enough for him to disappear. He does that sometimes. <laughs> if we wait a, one more hour, he'll just fade away. Oh, that's true. You are down by the river. You find uh, a couple of canoes there. Three of them. Is anyone living in a van down by the river? No. We're going to drag one of the canoes and hide it in the woods there, the edge of the woods, and we're going to destroy the other two. (laughs) Fire! 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 (laughs) You see a group of 12 coming down. All 12 of them? Yeah. We immediately go north then as quietly as possible. Oh, are you going to circle back to them? Yeah, we're going to go into the base while they're all gone. Soon after. You see a bunch of lean-tos. They seem to be living rough for the most part. All right, I search through their camp quickly to see if there's anything cool. Mostly it's uh, pitchforks and daggers. A lot of the stuff they have are trade goods they've ripped off of people, so there's plenty of food there, a couple of barrels of ale. You do find some gold. We take the good barrel of ale. Okay. And we immaturely destroy their camp, and then we leave. We rob the robbers, and then we leave. You TP the place and run away giggling. Corto leaves his calling card on the leader's bedroll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's funny. We go back north to, to meet up with our guys. In Popo, you see them all coming back, and they're, you know, carrying, like, strings of sausages and a keg of ale. <laughs> hey, guys, how'd it go? How much gold did we get? 12 gold and 154 silver. That divides up almost two gold everybody. Get out my wine skin of Potion A, and I, I have him drink it. Oh, oh. What, what, what was that fly? It was Jeff Goldblum. It's like when the giant bee attacked Renegade. I know. When you're on watch, sometimes things jump out of the dark. Hey, we need to move and set up an ambush, or... I think we should leave for now. There were 12 guys, but we can come back another day. Yeah, let's get out of here. Back to the ferryman. You guys are exhausted. You've been up all night. And just hide in the woods somewhere? You guys look dead on your feet. We could drink the ale and have a party. Let's go over here and uh, everybody rest and hide and keep an eye out. I collapse and fall asleep. I'll stay up and watch because I'm afraid to go to sleep. I'll go second since I have a proven track record. Six and a half hours later. Nothing happens in your watch. Everyone makes mistakes and deserves a second chance. I'll wake up in Pulso. Yeah. I'm going to uh, try to hide somewhere that I think flies wouldn't like. You're not completely taken by surprise when two men walk into the thing holding bows on you. One of them cries out, Caca! Caca! Attack! Wake up! Really, how far could they go and search? I mean, they have like 85 square miles. Uh, They tracked you. The keg you're carrying. Oh! (laughs) (laughs) They do get two bow shots off on Impulso first. Miss and... Can I cartwheel while giving them the finger? If you want to, yes. No, miss. Damn it. You guys suck balls. I'm going to fire at the guy that's next to Corto. A one. You shot Corto. Oh. Oh, God. You backstabbing traitor. (laughs) Impulso. Uh, One. Oh, my God. You shot Rang (laughs) Travo. Watch, watch. I'll get a four now. Yeah, I guys. Oh my yeah, God. it is going to be a TPK. You guys are going to do it to you yourselves. Aaron, roll your one. Five. I miss. But I didn't hit anybody in my own party. Yeah. When you guys all die, I'm going to join them and live like Robin Hood. Yeah! All right, Cordo. I don't know. There's only 16 of them. 12. He hits Rang Traval. Ha ha ha! Thirteen hit dice. That's good. Makes it. 
Makes it. Oh my god. God, what the fuck? Does not make it. Don't forget, they still also have to make a morale roll, too, to see if they run away. Based on them kicking our ass? No, but if they see half their party drop asleep, or they don't know, they could be dead. Makes it. Oh my Jesus god. Jesus fuck. Makes it. Falls asleep. Oh wow, three. That just happened. <laughs> Do they roll morale? They did just lose like four guys in a round here. Hold on. Would you fucking give me a chance? <laughs> he says. <laughs> Hopefully they make a morale roll. Some of them run. The leader attacks Rang Traval. Okay, Rang is down. Going to add him to the list. Well, you can just leave him behind. I mean... That one was an honest mistake. <laughs> well, flapjacks. 18. Nice. Yeah. Mm. You're leaderless. Yeah, now let's see what their uh, morale roll is like. Are you letting him go or are you guys going to chase him? I'm not chasing. Cord, you want to go stab that sleeping guy behind the tree? I love stabbing sleeping guys. <laughs> it's good to know. <laughs> Don't put him on watch. It makes my nipples hurt. <laughs> People we associate with. My God. Leader man's sword. What's going on with that? It's a well-crafted sword. It's a minor inscription on it. It says, with gratitude from the Castellan. They might want that back. We don't We don't have to give the sword away. We just have to show it, right? That seems to be what's happening. You could turn that sword back into the castle and get a reward. Uh, are we supposed to be uh, taking somebody's head in a bag of salt, too? I think we should rest. You want to go rest in their camp? Yeah. What's left of it? They might have, like, buried treasure or something. They, you know, it's a very cursory search. Yeah, well, I'm not sleeping in the leader's bedroll, I'll tell you that. I lop off the uh, head and hand it to the halfling to put in the bag of salt. Put that shit in and shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it. I cut his balls off. I, I don't want to watch that. It's the only way to show dominance over the corpse, Brando says. Are you taking the keg with you? Yes. We almost got killed because of the keg. You taking Rang Tarval? Of course. Who's carrying what? The big barbarian dude can carry the keg. Uh, what barbarian dude? Um, Cordo. I'm not a barbarian. Oh. That was insulting. You are shirtless. Are you a monk? Well, so what? I like being shirtless. I, I thought most monks usually don't wear shirts. I'm not a monk. Most monks wear robes. Or burlap sacks. I don't know humans that well. We search the camp as well as we can, seeing if there's any any maps or any notes or any uh, buried treasure. Nothing. You've stolen everything. Try to have a rest through the night that doesn't result in us being attacked. We're over two. Let's have two people on watch tonight. Yeah, good idea. The next day. There are, up here, three men chanting. You can't see quite what they're doing. But it looks like they've got some sort of altar set up. Hey, guys, we have a full party of full strength. Let's charge. So what, do we just charge at someone for chanting? Well, I didn't say attack. I just meant surround them. Yeah, and see what they're doing. I think we should quickly run up to them and surround them. They might be actual druids. So we will discern once we have them properly. So why don't we just casually walk up to them instead of just charging? I just walk up the hill. All right, you walk up to them. I charge. It looks like... Three men. And a baby. Yeah, and a baby. <laughs> oh my god, no oh. way. Putting it on the altar. I attack. The dagger in their hands says uh, it's probably not a good blessing, if it is one. <laughs> you guys surprise him. You get a free round of attack. Flapjacks. I'll shoot Hit the with a sleep spell. Stab the baby. You stab the baby, did you say? No, I'm trying to shoot the guy who's stabbing the baby. I got a 20. Dirty 20. Oh, is that what a dirty 20 is? When you when you get a 20, but with your, your stuff added to it? Yeah, with your modifier. Oh, okay. I never understood the term. Or you put the dice in your ass. <laughs> uh, all right, you've killed all three of them. Now we got a baby. That's got to be worth the reward. 
any symbols on the altar or anything else up here? The lead one, who was about to plunge the dagger in, was wearing a uh, silver holy symbol of Hecate. The weird thing about this is we're no longer in the Greek pantheon, and yet... Who's going to carry the baby? Not it. I bet the Stern guy is, would be really good with babies. Howard Stern? No, what's his name? The the ranger. Rang from O. Do you want to carry the baby, Rang? I'll take it with me and make sure it's properly brought up. We could take it back in uh, an orphanage or something in the... Traditionally, orphans are brought to the temple. Is anybody lactating right now? Um, Corto twists his nipples, afraid not. <laughs> All the results of this adventure, I did not expect a baby. It's probably a secret prince, or it's Damien. So did we recognize that it's the normal pantheon? Yeah, it seems to be the wrong one. Okay, so that's unusual. When we get back, we should see if the temple has changed back or not. Hey, you old fuck, come get us! Well, that costs a little extra. Of course. Okay, come on, get us. Uh, That's a gold piece each. That's fine. Plus a gold piece for your horses. Okay, come get us. I think when he comes to this side, we should knock his ass out. We made an agreement. All right. Um, That's what? Seven, eight, nine gold. We all get on and then we hand him one gold. That's nine gold or get the hell off. It's one gold like we agreed to before we left. This is a different trip altogether. I start pulling the rope. Yeah, I help. Hey, he gets up and he kicks you. Uh, I try to grapple him. You grab him then. All right, I hold him. Okay, good. Uh, well, everyone else pulls him. stabs him. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, he stabs him right through the heart. Then he throws the body into the river. That escalated quickly. It was a just punishment. He's probably done it to many other people as well. I didn't take you for someone who stabbed someone in the heart. <laughs> Eventually. I want to see what happens with this baby. He can hang out with Pinchy. It'll be a friend. Should I make a baby token? Not unless we need to hire a midwife NPC. Somebody with big boobies. You ride up to the keep. We could go to the trader and see if he buys babies. They probably need a license for that. Let's get back there and get rid of this baby. Yeah. If this baby. Not literally. All right, you go to the temple. It is indeed, again, a temple of Zeus. We're not going to talk about this, are we? We're just going to... Oh, we're not going to talk about this? Hey, Zeus people! Yes, my son. We were adventuring, as people seem to do frequently around here, and we came upon a baby! And where are the parents? Don't know, bro. Obviously a kidnapped baby. There were evil cultists trying to kill it. Sacrificially. Hecate. Here's a symbol. Thank you. Indeed, evil magic. She is the blood mistress. Like, monthly, or...? Very funny, sir. Ha, ha, ha. Um... One who wants to tap into dark energies and pervert the will of Zeus. Cool. Hold this baby. There's usually a uh, donation that goes along with it. You can melt down that silver holy symbol. That's called coinage. It's illegal to do that. All right, we'll go melt it down and be right back. Thanks, sir. No, um, I prefer gold. No! What are you going to do? Drop the baby? Have a nice day, dick shit. <laughs> well, don't come back looking for healing. You're going to be Odin next time, so go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, what are you saying? You want the sword back? Well, obviously, yeah. Unless you want to buy it. I'll give you 11 gold. No, we're good, mister. I'll take the sword with me. 20 gold. No, we're good, mister. I'll take the sword with me. 30. My final offer. We're good, mister. I'll take the sword with me. Okay, 40. I gotta consult with my party. There's like 15 of them, so we gotta talk it over. Hey guys, I think this guy's trying to bullshit us. I think this sword's worth a lot of money. Oh, really? Why do you think that? Mr. Trader, I talked it over with my friends just now. We're gonna keep the sword. All right, 100 gold. There you go. Maybe, but I want to know why you want this sword so much. It's a masterwork weapon. How much do they normally go for? They don't. You usually can't get weapons like this. 100 divided by 7 is like... 13 or 14 gold for each of us. That's pretty shitty. Thanks, mister. Have a nice day. You little prick. Get lost. Hey, no, I don't. Th- I think that's okay. Why? why I'm You're not going so back f- on your deal. You said you'd give me a. Oh, yeah, ooh. we said oh, we'd give him the sword. Oh, oh, he starts screaming. All right, mister. Have a nice day. No, I. Hey, get back here. Why are you trying to chip us out of money? We came to a deal with him. Why, uh, why do we have to be like McTuffins and piss everyone off? There was no deal. If he gets pissed off, that's on him. 
I don't know, man. What do you think? Uh, he might, we not, we might. Hey, look to my left. There's a place. Where are you going to the bank? Yeah, loan bank. Maybe we can get it appraised. Okay. Yeah, that might be something they do. Yeah. The former captain of the guard, he takes it, he picks it up and looks at it. Yeah. It's just, yes, yes, indeed. He was the Castellan's wife's brother. Oh. Uh oh. The Castellan cast him out. <laughs> That's why we come here for the humor. Should we bring this to the Castellan? Do you think that would be the way to go? If you wanted to sell it somewhere else, you usually get a uh, woof. 400 for it? Cool. Thanks, mister. You're the best. Yeah, let's take it to the Castellan. Let's go to the Castellan. That means we got to go to the bailiff. Yeah, and make an appointment. Been through this shit before. Let me see the sword. Oh, my. Well, this is indeed his sword. Are you returning this to the Castellan? Specifically, yes, to the Castellan. He writes out a message and he uh, gives it to the Scrivener. Bring this to the keep. We'll hang out at the tavern. We've had a busy day, guys. Barney comes up to you guys. Hey, Barney, I'm glad you're feeling better. Yeah, it's just a blow to the head. It's all good. You want a drink, Barney? Sure. Okay, next time we perform, you got to come up with me again, okay? Because that, that was pretty cool when we did that. Oh, yeah, sure. No problem. As long as I get a drink out of it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You notice in the far corner over there, Mungo's there. Errol Gamelin and Sir Maximilian Fane. He's got all our rejects. The drunk guy joined him. <laughs> you know, they were in the dungeon at the same time. That's not really that surprising. That he took him, though. He's screaming at the wench. I want another drink! God damn it! Maybe we should not engage. <laughs> <laughs> An hour later, the captain of the guard comes in and walks up to you. Hi, sir. We weren't doing anything wrong. The castellan requests your presence. Oh. Just the halfling, the elf, and this particular dwarf. Come with us. I look at my brother like, sorry. <laughs> he gives you the finger. I like Rando. You're marched around uh, up through here past the Temple of Zeus. And allowed into the keep proper. I play the flute the whole time we're marching. And I'll walk with a limp. Gentlemen, a halfling, a dwarf, an elf. How fascinating to see you all together. Now, are you the same dwarf I saw before? I show him the sword. I show him wizard skewer. And you're part of a different group now. No. Oh, they, um, some have passed away. Some have moved on. You know how these adventurers are. One's having diarrhea, sir. How pleasant. And what happened to my dear brother-in-law? Sadly, we didn't know about the relations, but he attacked us, and we were forced to kill well, him. He said that the relations existed. Is he dead or not? He's very, very dead. My wife will be in tears, but quite frankly, I can deal without the embarrassment. Sir, do you, do you want his head? We actually brought that back, too. You brought his head? You really are a bumpkin, aren't you? <laughs> Suppose <laughs> you want to see the codex then now i allowed you to draw from it before i don't see why i can't help it it doesn't come from my personal coffers hope i don't pull out a baby oh that would be awkward a magic baby if that happens we gotta keep it this time then we have to raise it 20 years later <laughs> you pull out a vial and there's some blood inside magical or something weird like dragon blood well, you have no way to tell that it's a magical. I will save it for emergencies. It feels very sleek. And you pull out what looks like a silk robe with gold embroidery. It's like a kimono. Oh, I have to see what this is. That's cool. Maybe this will uh, protect me from flies when I'm sleeping. Hey, Flapjacks, you want to give me a boost? You pull out a gem. And... There's something inside of it, raging back and forth. It looks like a wisp of fire inside. It has eyes and a mouth. Fire elemental? If you throw it down and it breaks, you can command the elemental. Excellent. The one-shot item, though. Thanks, Mr. Castellan. Yeah, I, I bow. Yeah, I bow. Well, good day then, gentlemen. We're glad to be of service to the realm. Be back next time we rock the shit. Yes.